Hi guys, Todd here. A box. And in this box we have the G for golf from Aero. Website is aerovapes.com. I've been speaking to the guys, they got in touch with me, Romanian company, uh, based in Romania, and uh, they've sent me some gear on to play with. And the first one that I'm going to unbox, have a look at, set up, I'll record the summary a few days from now. Uh, but this is just to give you a quick look. Uh, the first thing I'm going to say straight off the bat, presentation, 10 out of 10. Um, and you'll see why when I, I show you. This is a rebuildable Genesis Atomizer. Um, but I've opened the box, had a look inside, and well, put it like this if you go along to their website, have a look through their website, they have instructions, manuals for everything, they have full on descriptions, well written. It's one of the most professional sites I've seen regarding you know vaping equipment. Um, you think that looks smart. When they send you the gear, the quality is reflected, you know, and that's all I can say. Um, so, we'll change the camera and we'll get down and we'll open this up and let you have a look at it. So here we go, we have a box. Uh, right, G by Aero, and you got a little sticker, you can tell what finish you're going to have, because there are many finishes that you can get. Um, and this is this is how it comes. It's absolutely stunning. Um, yeah, a little bag or baggy, uh, full of gaskets, and there's a couple of insulators there as well. I see gaskets, O-rings, uh, really stiff ones. Uh, so we'll put them to one side. Uh, we also get, if I can get it out the bag here. Full set of written instructions and the diameters, uh, the lot, it's all there. Full breakdown, that's just what a beautiful touch. Um, and you know, you get this little pouch here, and inside the pouch is your atomizer. It really is a, at first glance, it's, it is a, it's a nice looking bit of kit. And I think this is going to be, I should just look at the bit of paper, but I like using my calipers here. It's 21 mil in diameter, and from top to bottom, it's 49 and a half millimetres. So let's get the cap off here. Materials I'll come back to. So there we go. There's your chamber in there. And let's try a couple of drip tips on this and see how we get on. Uh, yeah. No issues with drip tips there at all. A little stumpy. Uh, right, okay, now just looking at this here, in fact we'll, we'll take it to bits in a second, but uh, just to give you a close up look, so we've got two o-rings here holding the tank on, we've got uh, quite a, that looks like a 3mm uh, wick hole there, We've got a positive post, we've got a negative terminal, and we've got a fill hole here. Been a while since I've seen one of these. I haven't seen one of these since the old Maxi days, uh, Genesis Maxi by Van. You know, you just wrap your coil around the post rather than trapping it under something. And I like the fact that they've got this as well. You've got a little indicator there that tells you exactly where your wick hole is going to be. 510 thread in there and post. Right, let's uh, 
see if we can't take this bad boy to bits. I've got a sneaking suspicion that I'll have to take the earth screw off first. Could be wrong here. Actually, bear with me a second and I'll get some decent tools. Now, this is the, the negative screw, which is it's long because it passes down through the tank and screws into the base, which will give you your earth. Um, and I'm thinking, yep, we have indeed. These just pull off. Uh, I'll probably have to put this on a device to pull this off. Give me a second. And that just pulls off as well. Yeah, there we go. That's uh, there's your live, uh, which that will be soldered into the the pin, your five one zero pin, and that's where your your negative will go. It screws into the base there, like so. It's actually. We'll see how it works. Uh, you know, like I say, I haven't seen this set up since the my uh, you my Genesis Genesis uh, by Van, but uh, you know, it's got quite a thick tank in there. Materials I'll come back to. It's got a little tank protector, which looks quite funky. Slides on, no bother at all. It's stiff, which is good. <laughs> you don't want it being too slack, and. Uh, I you know, just want to make sure we get the right one here. It'll be going through the small hole. And just push that on. Stick the negative down there. And I'll just screw this in. And there we go. I'll tell you something. Looks great in the Origin. It's a perfect match for the Origin size-wise. Uh, right. Let's bung a mesh in here and see how we get on. Okay, I've got 0.23 canful here. Uh, I've got uh, the atty and I've got a bit of stainless steel rope, which is about 3mm, uh, with a bit of mesh round the top. And uh, let's just get this set focus-wise. There we go. And I'm just going to drop this. Well, I'll tell you what we'll do first. Is we'll actually undo the negative terminal a couple of turns and I'm just actually going to trap the wire underneath first like so there we go wire trap ready to go you see the wire still hanging off here, uh, and then I'll just pop this in here like so, and we'll start wrapping away. Oh, four wraps there. And I'm just going to finish off by wrapping it around the post so i'll give it four turns around there and that should be me i'll leave a bit of excess hanging off here in case we have to do anything at a later date uh, but that looks okay to me right i'll go and get the See if I can get this, uh, I'll pulse this and see if there's any hot spots. Okay, that's me filled up now. I'm running at about 1 ohm. So sorry, 1.2 ohm. And uh, I'm actually using it on the, the Aero S that they sent along as well. I'll be reviewing that later on. Uh, so, we're all set up, ready to go. Let's give it a vape. Right, so I was just reading up there. Uh, they also included uh, this is the AAT drip tip, 
uh, you can possibly see it's got a little hole in it there. It's got an adjustable screw in there and you can actually adjust the airflow, <laughs> which is pretty smart. But I've got to say, that's a beautiful setup. It really is. Touch sensor mod uh, with a couple of really nice features on it. So we know where the air hole is. It's really smart. Uh, anyway, let's have a vape. Uh, it's stainless steel, so I'll tilt it the other way. Nice. Very nice, actually. It's, uh, do you know, it, it's, it's absolute doddle to set up. Um, if you ever had the, the line or the Genesis Maxi by Van, you, you, you'll remember how easy it is to set up for just that post. The only thing, the issue with that post is if you don't get the wire wrapped around that post nice and tight, uh, if it moves about, you know, you can kick off hot spots and things like that. So you have to make sure that the wire's nice and tight around there uh, to hold it in place. You don't want it moving about. But it does make for an exceptionally easily, easily, easy build. Um, it's got, it's not a, an intense vape. It's nothing like... Uh, I mean, even at 1.2 ohm, it's not a harsh, uh, intense vape. It's very mellow. It's very a relaxed vape. Uh, it's got a... I'm not getting a lot of throat hit. Uh, you know, normally, like, well, what can I say? you know, if I'm kicking away on the Storm Rider and I've got that at 1.1, because the chamber's so small, uh, you know, it's really that intense flavour and, you know, it's just mental. This is very middle of the road. Um, if you don't like a harsh vape, then this would be for you. This is just a standard top cap, open top cap, you know, there's not a reduced chamber or anything like that. Um, it's quite nice. I'm loving this setup. I just love it. I think it's a beautiful setup. Anyway, now, if you go along to the Aero Vapes website, uh, and there's a buy page, and it, there's various links to various vendors that sell this across EU, uh, this ATI works out about 80 euros or 79 euros. And I mean, it's stainless steel. You can get it in titanium as well. And uh, like I said, if you go along to the site, you will see the various different types of finishes that you can get. Uh, there's quite a lot of choice there. Now, it's a polycarbonate tank. That's a negative for me. At this price point, I would like to see, you know, Pyrex or something like that, especially in this day and age with all the juice crackers that are out there, uh, tank crackers. But if you don't vape any tank cracking juices, then it won't be an issue for you. But be aware, it's a polycarbonate tank. Uh, what else can I tell you from here? Um... I we know, we know, we know the sizes, we know it's stainless steel. Um, that drip tip's about 15 euros. It's 316 stainless steel as well. And other things to point out, you know, the 510 connection is, you know, it's not adjustable. Um, however, all my mods, well, maybe this one isn't. Uh, I've got adjustable center posts, so I don't really find that an issue. This one doesn't have an adjustable center post, and it's firing away quite the thing.
like 10 watts. That's quite neat. Mm. Flavours coming through now. A oh, new coil, it's going to take time to kick in, but yeah, flavours coming through. Um, oh, I'll just cut to the chase. Right. The way they've done the, the you know, you've got the stainless steel post going down through the juice. I don't really have an issue with that. I mean, we nearly always have something going down through the tank anyway. Uh, that's okay. Um, the the live going down through the juice, uh, live post going down through the juice has an, an insulator sleeve on it. Uh, I mean, this, as far as, this is quite a basic Genesis design. Uh, this is uh, kind of where it all kicked off. This is what they used to, I remember them being like when I started vaping and this style has kind of been kicking about for a while now. It's proven it works and as far as it goes with this, it's working quite well. Um, I like the build of it. It's it's screwed together well. Uh, that's maybe can't convey that, you know, looking at it on film, but I'll, I'll tell you hand on heart that it is a nice Atty and it's built well. Um, I quite like it. I'm surprised by the design of it, as in the post instead of a screw. I'm not bothered by that because it works. And for a lot of people, they'll actually find that an easier way to build their coils, just wrapping it around a post. So that that possibly is a plus for me. Um, as I said, the, the material for the tank not being you know, being polycarbonate um, is a bit of a negative, uh, but I wouldn't, if you don't use tank cracking juices, I wouldn't worry about it. And lastly, on the Aero S, it is absolutely stunning. Uh, that is just a beautiful package. Really is nice. That's an 18350 mod. Uh, so, I'll stop this right here. And I'll be back with a quick five minute update on how I've been getting on and let you know exactly how it's been vaping once the coil bedded in and so on. But uh, that'll only be a quick summary at the end. But uh, yeah, good first impressions. Right, just to finish this up because I've pretty much said everything I need to say. I'm now sitting on the, the M mod by Aero in 18500 guys and I think it looks bloody awesome. Um, how's it been doing? Right, nothing's changed from my initial impressions. The device has been performing flawlessly. The only thing I've done uh, is because of my vaping style I don't I've, I mean, the ATT drip tip that they sent me, I've closed it off to give it a bit of a tighter draw because, as I said, it is quite an open draw. Uh, but now it's... And also with the wick now and coil having bedded in, I'm getting a lot more flavour. And uh, yeah, I'm quite impressed with it. It's I don't have any issues with it whatsoever. Um, I would I'll just stipulate again. Just if you're looking for an intense thump in the back of the throat type vape, you will not get it with this. Even with a one ohm coil, I'm not getting it. Uh, it is a a mild. Actually, we'll do a Scott. Here we go, and I get you. Uh, on a scale of one to five, um, as far as vape call, I can't do that. <laughs> Sorry, Scott. Um, you know, it's kind of middle of the road when it comes to vape intensity. It's it's, it's quite mild um, and open and airy. That's it. That's all I can say. So, 
Uh, hopefully, if you know what I mean by all that, you'll know whether you like it or not. Me, I love it. I love the fact that it comes in all these different finishes. Uh, once again, go along to the website and you'll see all the different colours you can get it in. And uh, you can get it stainless steel, titanium, stainless steel and titanium. It, it's just 10 out of 10 to the guys. Uh, I must admit, when I did see the way it had been built with the, the post and whatnot, I was a bit... Uh, but it's caught me in a wares and it's quite impressive. And that's it. We shall speak to you soon. Thanks again, guys, and uh, all the best. Bye now.